I have been cursed and let me tell you, it was not cute. There are many types of magic out there. Hexes, curses, and black magic. What are the differences in those? Today, I'm gonna share with you the differences about them and my experiences with the dark side of the craft. We have cookies. No, they don't have cookies. <laughs> they just have things that go bump in the night and that's not as fun as chocolate chip cookies. Hexes, curses, and black magic, when it comes to definition, fall under the same umbrella. The definition is a solemn utterance intended to invoke a supernatural power to inflict harm or punishment on someone or something. So a hex is when you cast an evil spell on someone and it's usually only done by someone who calls themselves a witch or wields magic. A curse on the other hand is something that brings bad luck to a person or bad things into their life and it is done by pretty much everyone. So what are my opinions on the subject of the dark arts? Now, before I jump in, I just want to say that I'm not throwing any shade at anyone who actually does cast this kind of magic. There are places in the world where casting spells on each other or hexing someone who has wronged you is completely normal. These are just my opinions as a soul, which not telling you that I speak for everybody and I just wanted to share what I thought. I have been to places in the world where it is completely normal to pay someone to hex your nemesis or someone who has wronged you. And it's completely and utterly socially normal. Whereas in some places you can be put to death for being accused of this sort of magic. In North America and in Australia and in the United Kingdom, for example, you are protected under religious law, even if you do tend to want to do things to people that are maybe not as nice with your magic. So my first question to answer is, do I believe in black magic? The answer is yes, I do. There is a theory that if you can heal someone, you can also harm someone with your magic magic, that they are two sides of the same coin. Someone can, in fact, inflict their will upon you using magic. You can, however, protect yourself and make sure that you are doing all that you can do with your energetic hygiene and your magical practices to make sure you don't become under the influence of somebody else's will. The second question I'd like to answer is, have I ever cast black magic on somebody else? Have I ever hexed them, cursed them, done a bit of bad, you know, stuff? And the answer is no, I haven't actually hexed anybody. I have banished someone from my life. So where you want to put that is completely up to you. But I did that with the intention of not harming them. I just didn't want them in my life anymore. And I have several people in my freezer. Now as dexterish as that sounds, what I mean is I have frozen them from contacting me or stopping a behavior that has been negatively impacting either myself or someone that I care about. It is a completely non-harming spell. They are currently in my freezer. Run. I believe what you put out into the universe, you get back. And this is one of the major reasons I have for not hexing someone or casting dark magic. I believe that hurt people can hurt people, but healed people can heal people. And I would prefer to use my energy and time to create something positive and constructive in the universe and not add to the chaos and harm and hurt that is going around. If anything, I lean towards defensive magic and not offensive magic. The third question is, have I ever been on the receiving end of a curse or a hex? Yes, I believe I have. I was under a psychic attack in my 20s. You can check out this video right here. It's my spooky stories video where I go into that story and others in more depth. I've definitely had incidences and times where it feels icky and dense and gross in my apartment or living space. I've had incidents where lights are being flickering and I've actually told it to stop. I've had things go bump in the night and I've seen spirit, but I'm not sure that is really anyone sending anything to me or if it's just like a Casper coming into my life. I always cleanse and do what I can to reset energetically when that happens. The thing is with hexing is that you're not gonna get a phone call from the person being like, oh my God, did you love the frogs that I sent you in the mail um, that were poisonous because I hexed you, bitch. That's not gonna happen. You're really not gonna find out. If someone has hexed you, that doesn't tend to go that way unless a person, I mean, they could uh, tell you if they're really that kind of looking for attention. I've also had friends find things under their welcome mats and then had someone, you know, take ownership of that. 
but that's rare if ever it happens. It was like a mojo thing. It had, um, it was like a construct. So it had like bones and a whole bunch of sigils carved into it for harm and it had like, it was pretty icky and they did claim it. So, I mean, that's a pretty extreme case. There was also this dude in Australia that would like claim that he could hex anybody and curse anybody and that he does it all the time and blah. And it's just like, your ego is out of control. Like, I just don't know with those people. <laughs> the fourth question I would like to answer is how do you know if you are under the influence of a curse? A lot of curses can have the same manifestation as actual physical health problems or everyday mundane happenings. So make sure you have actually looked at what's going on, you have crossed everything out, and if you are feeling unwell, you go to a doctor first. Before you assume that you have got a Winifred telling you under their spell in your neighborhood. Another great piece of advice is to talk to someone you know that has their head you know, pretty screwed on and is really okay with your beliefs. Someone who's not going to sit in judgment, but can give you some perspective of what's going on in your life. You can also do a reading with your guides and your cards where you can ask if there are any outside influences affecting you right now and see what the cards and your guides have to say. You can also meditate with them. There's also an old folk law where if you look into the mirror and see only yourself, you are not cursed or hexed. But if you see someone else on an outline or you see actually someone else looking at you, you are definitely under a curse or hex. The fifth question I'd like to answer is how can dark negative magic manifest? It can manifest under a string of bad luck coming out of absolutely nowhere and you just can't seem to get anything right. You can have really vivid nightmares and this is especially akin to this kind of magic if you don't normally remember your dreams and then all of a sudden you can start to remember all these horrific dreams. You could also have some unlucky natural occurrences like bitten by a spider, you can get hives, all those sorts of things can possibly be negative magic. Or you could disassociate for periods of time and this is not like you. Now when it comes to things like disassociation and starting to become paranoid, please, please make sure if you are struggling with your mental health, you seek out a professional. Do not go down the rabbit hole without looking at everything else first. It's very important not to panic and to always assess the mundane factors at play before you assume anything else. And the sixth and final question is, how do I protect myself from this kind of magic? I recommend that you have your visualization game on lockdown, making sure you're shielding and keeping your energies clean. Take care of your mental and physical health and make sure you are maintaining your personal boundaries. You can do some magic in your house that is protective. So you could do a grid with smoky quartz, black tourmaline. You can energetically cleanse your house. You can put up protective sigils. There's a bunch of things that you can do. I got the recipe and it's called black magic. Called black magic, yeah. If you want to learn more about how to protect yourself energetically from psychic interference or hexing and cursing, check out my video here. There are two parts to so make sure you get a pen and paper and get ready to be inspired. Have you ever been under the influence of a curse or hex? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see all of you Masters Against the Dark Arts next time.